Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this random ints.py problem here. Um, the problem is fairly straightforward and simple, um, but I still think it'll be useful just to have a concrete example to refer to for this sort of program. So it says write a program that prints 50 random integers from 1 to 10 inclusive. Remember, inclusive means 1 and 10 should be possible options. Now the sort of thing you're doing in this problem is actually like the code you'll write to solve it is very similar, um, albeit without the random numbers part, but it's the basic structure of the program is similar to uh, 2, 3, and 4 here as well, these problems. Okay, so let's just take a look at how to do this. So you start out, um, you'll put your comments at the top of your file. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that start that part. Just put in your name there and stuff so it's easy to know who wrote the program. And then the first line should, of code should be import random to import the random module into our program. And then all we're going to do is use a for loop because we have a loop and we know in advance the number of times we want it to execute. So if we know for sure we want the loop to execute 10 times, or in this case 50 times, then we can use a for loop because it does that really easily and conveniently for us. So we say for, and then um, you can name this, any, this name is just the name of a variable, it can be anything you want, but I'll just say for num in range 50. So this is starting at 0, going up to, but not including 50. Um, so we'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 49, which will be 50 values in total. And what we want to do here is just print out a random integer. So we'll say print out random dot rand int um, 1 to 10. In, and remember, rand int includes both endpoints. So that satisfies the inclusive requirement. All right, let's print this out and take a look at how it works. Because that's it. That's all there is to this program. All right, and if I make this a little bigger so we can see more of the numbers here. It looks like we were successful, right? There's 50 numbers here. You can count them if you want. I won't stop. I trust the computer. Um, but it looks like they're pretty random, right? And we have 1 as a possible outcome, 10, and it looks like pretty much everything in between, which we would expect um, to most likely get at least one of each number. All right, so that's been an example of how to do a loop problem like that where you know in advance the number of steps that you're going to execute. In this case it was 50 steps, but in some of the earlier problems it might just be 10 steps or a different number. So you would just change this value here. If I wanted to print out 10 random numbers instead, I would just change that to 10. And if I run this instead of 50 numbers, I would just get 10 numbers here. Alright, thanks for your attention.